is a story that came out on factscheck.org. Trump mislead on opioid plague fight. Well, to be honest with you, that's really not much Trump can do as far as ending this plague. It's too many people on the drug. But he had made a promise in May that, you know, they had $6 billion for the opioid plague and getting rid of the scourge that's taking over the country. Well, easier said than done. Number two, that $6 billion was over a two-year period, 2018 and 2019. And it was included in the federal budget deal signed in February this year, the end of March. Congress appropriated $3.6 billion of that for fiscal 2018, which ends September 30th. So Trump is not putting enough money into this plague in order to stop it, you know, and you got to remember, he made all these empty promises to his supporters during the rallies. Trump in his commission and even people on his commission talked about being disappointed because Trump was really not providing the funds to end this whole thing. And he was not even listening to them. Whenever they would send him memos or, or things that they've looked into, Trump would just ignore the whole thing. So that being said, this man ain't interested in resolving nothing. Unfortunately, the United States is a big drug nation, legal and illegal. Because there are so many people on drugs and buying drugs on a regular basis in this country, that's the reason why it's not going to go anywhere. You know, supply and demand. There's a big demand for drugs in this country. So there's no amount of money Congress can provide that's going to stop these drugs from coming in. Remember, it's coming in from all borders. It's coming in from the islands. The Dominican Republic is a big place where drugs are being shipped. You got it coming in from Canada. You got it coming in from Mexico. You got China hitting up this nation. So you have no chance of ending this thing. As long as money is being made legally and illegally off of the drugs, it's not going anywhere. And they got the pharmaceutical company set up where they can't really get sued. So this ain't going nowhere, y'all. You know, it, it doesn't matter what Trump gets up and say. This is not going anywhere and he's not going to resolve it. He's going to say whatever he needs to say to pacify his supporters and, you know, I would go over these numbers, but we already know the numbers are down counted. They undercount the numbers on purpose in this country. So you're really never going to get the real numbers. All they're going to do is tell you it's some 115 or 90 a day. And they're not telling the truth, y'all. They're just not. But just know Trump is not going to fund this plague any more than he has, which every state is screaming, it's not enough money. And this ain't going to be revisited again. I can tell you that right now. When Trump goes up for re-election, he's going to stand on that stage and say, I put up $6 billion for this opioid plague. I've declared it a public health emergency. And we know those things aren't doing a damn thing to help any anybody out here. And remember, he's got to keep renewing that public health emergency. He did not want to make it a national emergency because then they would have to be pouring tons and tons of money into it and it would have to be provided to all 50 states. Tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Trump mislead on opioid epidemic fight. Please leave your comment 
and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.